Hi YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and today we're doing a bit of camping and some testing of some new equipment. So you'll see here I have an EcoFloor EF Delta battery bank or solar charge unit or there's many different names for them. Um, I call it a very large battery bank. What it does for me is more important. So as you know, if you watch my channel for any length of time, I spend quite a lot of time out camping and I have to take a lot of camera equipment with me and it becomes a problem for me to keep everything charged up, especially if I'm gone for two, three, four days, then that's not really ideal to try and keep camera equipment working. So what I have been using is a Jackery 500 watt unit that I've used in the past and that's fantastic. I still use that and depend on it on almost every trip. The only time I don't take that is when the temperature drops to below minus 10 Celsius and which all of these units suffer quite terribly. So I don't bother taking them out and I have other methods of keeping things charged up if I have to. But what this does is provides a lot of freedom. Compared to the Jackery, this is about twice the size and I'll put all the stats up because I'll never remember them all. Uh, there's way too much to remember. But what this unit will provide is enough power for me to stay out for extended periods and even run something like a refrigerator if I want to keep things cool, for instance. It'll put out about 1800 watts across all six of the 110 volt outlets. It also has USB type C, USB uh, 2.0, 12 volt outlet. It takes different types of input as well. So if you do have a, a, an outlet that you can plug it into, so what I really like about this unit compared to something like the Jackery is it doesn't have a power adapter, it doesn't have a brick. So for charging you can use either with 110 volt outlet and it's a normal C13 plug, the same as you have in your computer. You can charge it with 400 watts of solar energy or you can plug it into a 12 volt outlet from a vehicle. So if you're on a, a road trip for instance, you can charge this up again. So it's very, very versatile. The sheer size of it is gives you some idea of how <laughs> powerful this thing is. So it, it is for the larger consumers, if you've got lots of stuff that you need to run and you need to run it for a long time, then this probably is the way you'd like to go. So EcoFlow did send me out this unit for me to review and take a look at and share with you. And I have been using it for a couple of weeks. I've been putting things on and off charge and I can't substantially drain this thing down very easily. Um, I've charged laptops, phones, you name it, all my camera gear, and the thing hardly loses any power, as you'd expect, because it's such a large battery. So in addition to my equipment I normally carry when I'm out on my UTV is a gas-powered chainsaw. However, I've just switched to an electric chainsaw, and this is one of the reasons why. Without this unit, I probably wouldn't have considered a battery-powered chainsaw but I know that I can charge that chainsaw up several times. This has so much power. So what are the main benefits of having something like this? It gives me independence. I'm not having to worry about where my next charge is gonna come from. This will run so many different things. I can run lighting, I can run my chainsaw, I can charge everything up, all my camera equipment. I'm never gonna to have to worry about power again. I, even on extended trips, I can't, get through the entire what this battery can hold. So that's very impressive. So this also has great uses around the home as well. Because it can put out quite a lot of power, you can run certain power tools with it. If you need to go somewhere, you don't want to run an extension cable, you can take this out with you, plug it in, away you go. Uh, this has a surge capacity of 3300 watts. So it won't run the tool at full power, at that, but it will take that amount of starting or starting power, something like a, an air conditioning unit. Wouldn't recommend running that for very long on this because they are pretty hungry. Uh, but something like a, uh, a powerful hand tool will start up and then once the draw drops, then it will run continuously at the regular power. So this is obviously not an exhaustive test, but I wanted to see whether my biggest power draw tools would actually run happily on the EcoFlow. 
So I did a quick test cutting some 4x4 with my reciprocating saw. This is a 12 amp pull unit so it is pretty power hungry and it ran just fine, just ran like it was running on normal power. The next thing is my heat gun that I use quite often and this does pull a lot of power. This sometimes trips my breaker in the garage and it's meant to be rated to around 1300 and some watts but when I actually checked it on the display it was pulling 1430 watts and it was quite comfortable. The runtime it displayed was about 52 minutes so that's uh, actually quite impressive. For me, this is gonna be great. In Canada, we do get quite a few power outages, especially in winter. We have overhead power lines that go through our neighborhoods and occasionally we do have problems when we lose the power. So it's great to have something like this. I can keep all my computer equipment running, for instance. I keep my router running if I need to get on the internet. I can plug in a refrigerator, my freezer, lots of different options. I could even probably run my furnace, which is, obviously important to keep the home warm. So I can think of a million and one uses for a product like this. The benefit again over something like a gas powered product is yes a gas product will run for longer periods but then you're dealing with like starting issues, uh, you're having to put gas in it, service it etc etc and how often do you really run a gas powered generator as the average consumer. I have one at home I run it a couple of times a year if I go camping in a trailer. With this, I probably wouldn't even bring it with me. I would just bring this unit and I know I can run laptops, everything in the trailer quite easily on the built-in batteries or with this providing 110 power as well. Combine this with a couple of solar panels. I already have at least 200 watts of solar energy that I can charge up. I could charge this thing back up during the day and use the power overnight. So it's one of those key benefits. This technology has moved on so much and the price has actually come down significantly too to make these things affordable. So if you haven't considered one of these units before, it might be time to have a look. The prices are actually coming down and the features have just gone up considerably. What these things can do now is quite amazing. So there are lots of products on the markets from different manufacturers. And from what I've seen with EcoFlow, they are one of the leaders at the moment. They have more features than some of the other products. I do own a Jackery product and I still recommend them. I think they're fantastic. Mine is a 500 watt. I say the only real drawback I have with a Jackery is it has an external brick, which I'm not a big fan of. This doesn't, I like that. I'm not worried about having that brick fail. I can plug in a normal C13 from the back of a computer, plug this in, away I go. So that's one of the key benefits of this unit. This is pretty hefty. It's about 30 pounds in weight or 18 kilograms. So this thing's pretty hefty. They do supply you with some nice things as well. So this is a normal SC4 connector for a solar panel. So most of them use this type of connector and they provide this for you. They also provide you with a normal 12 volt car charger as well which is very handy and there's also the normal charging cable which I didn't bring with me today obviously because what am I going to plug it into <laughs> and there's also the normal 110 volt charging power cable the C13 which I didn't bring with me but you get the idea so let me know in the comments what you think whether you own one of these products or you're considering picking one up or if you have a different brand what are your thoughts around those I'd be very interested to find out so until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.